<laughs> Deirdre Payne, thank you for talking to Goss.ie. Yeah, pleasure. We're here at the launch of the, Ga- the Comedy Carnival in Galway. Tell us what yeah. can we expect from it. Oh, a lot of laughter. I think uh, I think comedy's having a bit of a comeback, which is great. You know, it, ha- it had a few uh, quiet years, I think, but it feels like there's a bit of rock and roll back in the air, which is fantastic. I suppose the Ivy Gardens was the last Vodafone when I did that, and it was uh, just... Huge crowds, huge turnouts, and massive enthusiasm for comedy. I think comics are a little bit on fire as well. I mean, I saw a band of men who are playing Galway, and they are sensationally good. I was like, oh god, I better, I better up the ante here. Well, I actually saw you at, in the Ivy Gardens, and it was your first show in like about ten years or so. How was yeah, it to get back I'd up say on stage? Seven, seven, seven years. <laughs> How was it to get back up on stage? Uh, really? Do you know what? It was, it was very scary initially because I did a few previews before I played the Ivy oh, Gardens. I did the Cat Laughs at Kilkenny as well. Um, but mostly it was fantastic. I really enjoyed being back. Much to my own surprise, I thought I'm going to tip my toe in the water here, and if I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. But I loved it. I loved being back, and uh, it was like getting back on a bike, which is nice to know. I have to say, but it was there. hilarious, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I know you use your family a lot for material, so are they still inspiring you every day? Ah, they are. I mean, what can you do? You know, you write about what's going on in your life. And last year, I was a stay-at-home mum, so I mean, I wrote about that. It's horrendous. <laughs> but you know, you can make it funny. Oh, it was very, it was really, really good. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. It's a pain in my stomach, like, laughing. Oh, so thank good. you. Delighted to hear it. Now, well, while you weren't in comedy, you were, of course, working on loads of different projects, and you worked on Moonboy. Now, the talks have been made into a movie. Like, what do you think about that, or is there any truth to that? I'd say there is truth to that. I mean, I, I know that Sky wanted to make it. So I think when uh, when you've got the um, the company saying, we're, we're happy to pay for it, I'd be very surprised if it didn't happen. Whether it happens next year... Or, or not, I don't know. But uh, I, I would kind of expect that it would happen. And it was such a successful like, TV series, I just think maybe make it into a movie will boost it. Or, you know, because sometimes when people try to like make a series into a movie, it sometimes doesn't work. But you really, you, you just don't know. You, you really don't know. I've learned that through Noble. You do not know what to expect from the film industry. Uh, I do know that Netflix and Amazon Prime, which are the new huge things, need content. So I think it will have a life, especially when you've already got a successful TV show. So I'd say it would do well. Chris is a big star now. That's you know? going to actually ask you, is, have you talked to Chris lately? I, and not since his baby was born. I, I guess he's pretty busy and we're in different parts of the world. But uh, we, were, we were texting a bit when the child was born. So he hasn't sent you any saying. photos? You haven't seen it yet? Maybe. Well, I have. I've seen the baby, yeah. I've seen pictures of the baby. Gorgeous. Um, I'm delighted for them, thrilled for them. And what about David, the star of the show as well? Have you seen him or talked to him? Yeah, well, look at David, he's so grown up now. Uh, I haven't seen David since he went to the Oscars. So I was quite jealous of it. <laughs> you know, he voiced Song of the Sea, the, mm. the brilliant animation film. Um, and then where did I see him after that? I can't remember, I bumped into him at something. What did he come to? It wasn't the Ivy Gardens. He showed up at a gig anyway, himself and Ian. Uh, so, I, yeah, we're all in, we stay in touch. But you won't lift this year, so maybe Oscars now next year. Your next place to go. Well, that'd be ideal. Why not? All I need is a Guna. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we, we'll, we'll try to see who will help. We'll all get together and see if we can get a Guna together. For you. Yeah, please. <laughs> so, Deirdre, what's next now, apart from the Comedy Festival? Do you have any little projects in the pipeline? I do. I have a big project. I'm doing Are You There, Garth? It's me and Margaret, the, the play about Garth Brooks, about the summer of Garth, I should say. Um, so that goes into the Gaiety in November. No, it doesn't. It goes into the Gaiety in October. Um, so I come back to rehearse that in, on the 21st of September. And it's, it's brilliant. Fiona Looney's written it, and it's, it's damn good. McLean Burke is playing Garth. Um, I, I think he'll do a brilliant job. I believe he's a fantastic singer. So I'm looking forward to... I'm just looking forward to that gig a lot, actually. Gaiety is like my spiritual home, so it'll be nice to be back in there, too. And any excuse to come back to Ireland? Oh, I'm going to move back next year. Oh, brilliant. It'll be ten years I've been in London, so uh, that's my plan. I think I'm going to come back for secondary school. Brilliant. I think everyone's kind of everyone that moves away always wants to come back home at some stage. It's interesting, isn't it? Though <laughs> the secondary school is a big one. It's just a big compliment to Ireland and the fact that we yeah. we can still we still rate the education system very highly. So, yeah, so we're going to have Deirdre came back in Irish soil now this time. Unless I get a better offer and I go to New York, but otherwise, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Deirdre Kane, thank you so much for talking to Goss Pleasure.